Hey guys, Salutations to YouTube team here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today at the Goodwill. Um, this is the OC Goodwill Boutique in Tustin. I'm super excited to take you guys into the store. So right over there, but if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, and vlogs, do not forget to subscribe with the little bell button so you're notified when those new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here, and check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com, to see whatever sale for my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's head into the store. There's a little bit of a line, but hopefully you can get in pretty quickly. And we're inside. Oh, look at the store. It's beautiful. These sprays are at like every single thrift store. Or at least Goodwill in Orange County that I've been to. All right, handbag time. Landmark collection. Hoping we can find something cool here today. This is actually the store I found um, on Authentic Chanel. Like bag back in the day. H&M. This looks just like the Celine. That Celine tote, very similar style. Leather. I'm like checking every single bag. Is it cool, huh? Actually, not the worst. It's actually a pretty cute style. Satchel. These little cleaning and a little dye. So maybe we're gonna hold on to it while we look at the rest. Look at this, this is kind of cute. Charles Jordan Paris. Oh, it's missing. There should be a crossbody strap. Looks like it's missing. There's this bag. It has a CD on it, like it's like it might be like Christian Dior or something, but it doesn't say anything anywhere else. So, I don't know, it might be a vintage Christian Dior bag. Might have to do a little research. No, I'm gonna look it up in a little bit. Um, but let's see if we can find anything else that's interesting. There's this coach, but it looks Pretty beat up, like the leather on the handles. I think this is a B. Mikowski. Are you a B. Mac? You are, but it's super faded. I like <laughs> falling off of these things. This Claiborne. It's like a cute style bag, but the turn lock is broken. Nine West. Is this a Lotus? No clue. Gosh, <laughs> my camera's going nuts. This is a Lotus. That's cute. It looks like a Birkin. It's like a good like work bag. Is it torn right there or is that just dirty? I thought this was a coach, but it's not unfortunately. Looks like we didn't find any bags here. So let's go check out the rest of the store. We have a bunch of stools and furniture. Let's see what we have here in like the random knickknack section. Let's take off this thing so it doesn't make too many sounds. I had to switch back to the uh, like the next job carrying the camera. Because it's just so hard sometimes to carry it with like the little handheld thing because it's not too conducive during Corona. 
so I feel like it's a little better carrying it in my hand with the thing around my neck. So if I need to set down the camera, it's a lot easier. Royal Limited. Sorry. Oh my gosh, we literally have this. And it's like a pink salt block and you cook on it like fish and stuff. 20 bucks, that's expensive. I really like this giant glass thing. Right here, it looks like a trash can almost. I want this, how much is it? Hopefully it's not super expensive. $14.99, handmade quality. I think I'm sold on this, I just need a cart. Okay, I'm too lazy to grab a cart right now. So I'm just gonna look around if it's gone. I'm not gonna be sad about it, but I don't think anyone's gonna grab it. Hopefully, <laughs> as I say, as someone's grabbing it like right now. Um, okay. $7.99. This was a pretty vase, but it's cracked right there. Unfortunately. Okay. Let's see what else is here. This little bunny is so cute. He's blue. What is this? Candlestick holder? Oh, this platter is huge. It kind of looks like a um, pottery barn, like the Emma. But I don't think it ever came in that size. Plus the finish is a little different. I saw the matching plates of these somewhere else at a different Goodwill. Grace's Teaware. How cute little butterflies. These are Pagnosin. No, Crate and Barrel. Are they Pagnosin though? Made in... That oh, way. These look just like the Pagnosin plates that I have. Ooh, they have some of these plates here too. These are like everywhere. There's more right there. I guess multiple Goodwills have them right now. Iced tea, spaghetti. Let's look at these guys and see if we can find anything cool. This one smart cookie mug. I knew this was Kate Spade for Linux. I wonder if there are any more. <laughs> I like this one. Let's see if there's another Kate Spade mug like this hiding around here somewhere. Oh, is this a William Sonoma mug? I think I actually have this letter though. It is William Sonoma, $1.99. But we're not, we're not gonna get it. I think I actually have that letter. Found, um... This is an anthropology mug, letter R. 99 cents, I think we're gonna get this too. We have a bunch of instant pot things. There's two right there. Hey, I almost bought this at Target for my aunt in the Philippines. These curtains. Interesting. I love the little random section that they have here to see like what sort of products that they have. I'm looking for some dry shampoo. That would be awesome. Oh, but he's... But that's not the dry shampoo, that's like some sort of foam thing. That is crazy, I've never seen waterless cleansing foam before. Hmm. We have this cool black desk. These tools. Ooh, this round table. A hundred dollars.
I got what I found discarded on like this little side thing fixture. It's a coach bag. I love it. The interior is yellow and it looks like a Birkin style bag. It's so stinking cute. So fabulous. I love it. Look at that. It's so cute. I'm running through the shoes really quick just to see if I can spot anything. And West. Cole Haan, there's Sam Edelman. Look at this Starbucks cup. This one's cute with all the hearts. Super fun. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today. And, um, it all fits inside this bag. So, uh, I'll show you guys the bag last. But inside, got this stuff. So, this store uh i haven't been to in forever today like this day that i went to the store it's actually still the same day um usually i film i try to film these like the same day anyway i digress uh i tried to go to stores that i haven't been at all this entire year so it was super duper cool to go to this one it was called the oc goodwill boutique this is actually the store where i found um an authentic chanel travel line bag which was super duper exciting i think it was only like how much was it, like $8.99? It was such a deal, such a find, so excited about it. Um, and yeah, never forget a deal, right? Like, especially good deals. I always remember exactly where I found an item, uh, like what store, like, I don't know, whatever. Like, it's just like, ugh, so exciting. But I love that store so much. So it's an OC Goodwill boutique. So. Um, everything in the store is kind of like hand-picked for it. It's not like a regular store. It's a little bit different. Uh, there are two OC Goodwill boutiques in Orange County, I believe. And then there's Rare, which is like um, an even more elevated version of the boutiques. Uh, there's the one that I went to was the one in, I believe it's Tustin. And then there's another one over in, I believe it's Huntington Beach. So... Um, go check them out. Let me know if you guys go. I love these stores so much. I don't normally frequent the one in Huntington Beach as often because I'm not normally over there. I haven't been there in like a hot second. I haven't been there all this whole entire year. So, um, but the first thing I have here is I got this really cute Starbucks coffee cup. Uh, it has like watercolor hearts. Really, really pretty. Um, I actually found the lid for it. Like, it was just like sitting on the shelf and I looked um I picked it up looked underneath and it was like uh these look just like the Starbucks ones so I was like probably the one that goes with it um because it has like the gold writing and like matches with the gold lid I don't know but <laughs> this was only 99 cents and I guess these are really really popular like this style um it sells for a good amount online so I thought I'd pick it up um, and if I don't keep it, I can resell it or whatever. I don't know. But I really like the watercolor hearts. I think they're really, really pretty. And for 99 cents, you can't beat it. So I got that. Then I got two more things. They're still wrapped up. I should have taken them out already before. Okay. So. First one I have here is this is uh a little a little a letter r mug and this is actually one that was sold to anthropology um starla half ha oh starla hoffman i think is the one that uh that is, is she's like the designer of the mug so i think they're super duper cute um r is my dad's my, the letter that my dad's name starts with so I got this one for 99 cents and yeah what a deal super excited um I don't have very many of this style in the anthropology mugs and I don't know what it is about anthropology letter mugs that makes me want to collect them I literally have like one two three this is the fourth like style that I'm collecting from anthropology as far as the letter mugs go so I don't know I need a I need an <laughs> intervention or something. Um, okay, so then up next uh, is another mug. Oh my gosh, Adrian, what is wrong with you? I keep buying mugs. But I thought this one was so cute. And it's uh, literally brand new. It still has like the sticker inside. But 
This one says one smart cookie. I thought it was just so cute. This is actually a Kate Spade mug for Lennox. The sticker is actually covering it up, but um, it says Kate Spade underneath the sticker, and then it says for Lennox. Or actually here. Oh, oh, the sticker is coming off pretty easily. Aha, there you go. Kate Spade, New York. For Linux, yes, very exciting. Um, ooh, microwave and dishwasher safe. So I don't know. I also, I also thought that the the fact that it said one smart cookie was really really cute, and I like the two tone of the mug. I don't know. I just am such a mug lover. Uh, it's so strange. If anyone else collects mugs out there, please let me know. I'm not the only one down below in the comments. I don't want to be all alone in this because I'm just like a crazy mug person. I have like such a crazy collection and. Imagine if I did a video on like literally all the mugs that I owned, it would be like an hour long and I would have to go through them really fast because I have a lot of mugs. And I have been downsizing a lot. I've been giving them away, sending them to my family in the Philippines, and I'm going to start putting some of them up online too. Like I'm going to go through them, I'm going to through, go through all the letter mugs and um, try to bring it down a notch and maybe not have a million of the H mugs because for some reason I always find them. But it's like the law of attraction. I'm just like trying to put it out there that I want to find the letter mugs and since my name starts with an H, it's like all the H mugs just like gravitate towards me or something. I don't know, it's so weird. And I like literally always find them everywhere. <laughs> but um, Or there's just a lot of people that donate their mugs and their names just happen to be with the letter H or something. I don't know. Anyway, last uh, but not least from this uh, thrift trip to the store is this Coach Birkin style bag. It's so cute. Um, it's a like a almost like a khaki cream colored canvas and then black leather uh, and then it has like, uh, the stitching is a contrasting cream stitching to match the canvas. Really, really cute bag. It's super fun. I love the style of it. Um, the top does go inside, too, just like a Birkin. So if you just wanted to carry it like that, you can totally do it. And what does it for me, too, is that the interior is a bright pop of gorgeous yellow. I think that's so pretty. I love that that, like, the bag has that color inside like it's so pretty um there is like a weird like i'm pretty sure i feel like it's a coffee stain on the back so i'm hoping i can get it out but it's on the back so it's not like a huge deal breaker for me uh because the front is in pretty great shape and so are the sides it's really just the back where it has that mark so i don't know hopefully we can get it out um, but that is the end of the video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out today and checking out that store. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys have been there or are planning to go or have gone after you watch this, comment down below. Let me know. I want to know if you guys go to that store. Let me know what you guys have found recently because I always love hearing about your finds as well. Again, don't forget to check out the shoppingshadron.com. Everything is 30% off currently for the month of November in 2020. Um, all the links and stuff uh, are down below in the description box. Tune in tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new thrifting video. And I love you guys immensely. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Adios! Bon voyage! Shady my death!